Hello YouTube, today I'll, I'll just make a quick status update on what I've been working on in FreeBSD lately. Uh, so I'm not going to do any kind of full release um, for this version, uh, 0422a. Uh, I'm just going to like show off a few of the new features. Uh, so, uh, first of all, this is something that was kind of half implemented in last... Um, in, 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 last, uh, in, in the last update, which was uh, 0222a, uh, which was theming support through theming files. So if I go over here, as you can see in this uh, conf directory in themes, you've got a bunch of themes. So there's a, a dark theme, uh, there's a light theme, and uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so right now I'm on the, the dark theme, and what's cool about this is that you can actually change these values uh, on the fly. So if I go uh, to the foreground, uh, and I can select some color like orange, for example. And if I save this, as you can see, all the text becomes orange. Uh, not exactly sure what's up with this uh, over here, but uh, I'll fix that in due time. Uh, right, so let me just set that back. Uh, and yeah, so I had another another little example here. If you wanted to like make the windows completely translucent like this, you could. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can. Uh, you can also do stuff like changing the shadow radius. So here, I'm probably going to... Uh, make the shadows a bit stronger so that they're a bit more visible. Let me just bring out a window. Yeah, I guess that's fine. To show the difference. And uh, yeah, it's not just colors. You can also change uh, these kind of values. If I set this type something stupid like 512, you can see this works. There's really no limit to values. You can even go like 248, uh, <laughs> which basically makes everything black. But you know, if you wanted to, you could, um, and you can even uh, you can even inherit completely from uh, another theme like the light theme. And as you can see, all these uh, you know everything updates correctly. The shadows look good, and everything. Um, yeah, there's just uh, don't really mind these these little buttons there. They're temporary. They're going to be changed by something that looks a bit better. And also, yeah, uh, the contents of Windows aren't um, reflective of the of, of the themes. Um, that's uh, that's something that will change. Uh, it's just because URXVT is not compiled for this. Uh, normal Aqua applications should work with this, but yeah. Um, there we go. Okay, so that's as before. So what's next on my list? Uh, right, yeah. Uh, really quickly, uh, I've got a new uh, init system to replace uh, uh, the the old uh, Runcom um, BSD cell init system in FreeBSD. So uh, it, it uh, starts services uh, in, in parallel, so things are quite a bit speedier. Uh, in fact, uh, the the fastest boot up time that I've had, uh, not including uh, obviously all the all the all the post stuff and all the bootloader stuff and all the kernel stuff, uh, was uh, 1.4 seconds, if I recall. Uh, anyway, next, uh, yeah, this is a new feature that I've been uh, working on for for quite a while, which is called aquariums. So aquariums are basically I've got a list of uh, two of them here. Uh, they're basically uh, uh, kind of like little environments. I guess you could call them virtual machines, but they're not really virtual machines. Uh, but, you know, I can just kind of demo one. If I go into the Ubuntu Aquarium, uh, as you can see, I get like this, uh, this shell. If I type in uname, uh, you can see it indeed uh, sees I'm on Linux. Uh, you know, you've got internet access to uh, through here. If I install Vim, to my password. Uh, well, I've already got Vim. Let me just... Uh, <laughs> Just remove Vim and reinstall it for the sake of example. Uh, here we go. Can you know? It, it's Vim. Uh, right. Yeah. I already did this uh, this demo previously, so yeah. You know things work. Uh, if I go into uh, the FreeBSD Aquarium, uh, things also work. I type in new name, FreeBSD. Right. Uh, so they're, they're, they're created with, uh, with the C flag. I'm not going to create one now because it takes a while. Um, and they're listed in uh, Aquarium's templates. Uh, in the future, I'll have this uh, um, uh, file uh, with a bunch of sources for certain for certain uh, uh, templates. So say, for example, I didn't already have a, a Ubuntu installed, but I needed Ubuntu to run something. So like say, I've got this like .deb file that I'd like to uh, to to install, and I don't already have an uh, uh, an Ubuntu Aquarium, then it will automatically go fetch it and uh, install it for me. Uh, currently, that's not yet implemented, but there are these uh, currently four different types of um, aquariums. We've got uh, AquaBSD, FreeBSD, GVOS, which is a, a project that I'm uh, uh, working on and which I'll talk more about later. 
uh, and uh, Ubuntu, right? Uh, and so Ubuntu is um, the Linux images. Currently, it's just Ubuntu, but I'd like to have like uh, Arch and Fedora and stuff like that. Uh, they're, um, they're generated uh, by just this simple script uh, over here using D bootstrap. And so there's this uh, CI setup. Um, there we go. Uh, and yeah, you know, it just builds an image, <laughs> basically. Uh, yeah, that's for later. Okay, uh, what else? Oh yeah, on the topic of Firefox, um, I I had transparency working in this menu bar and uh, over here in this in certain, in certain parts of Firefox. Uh, unfortunately, it was relying on a bit of a hack and uh, the new version of Firefox, which I literally just updated to uh, before recording, uh, breaks <laughs> this, uh, this little hack. So I guess I can show screenshots of what it looks like looked like uh, with with the transparency. It looks kind of cool, um, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll try and uh, um, uh, recompile this correctly for AquaBSD with uh, transparency properly enabled. Um, yeah, going back to uh, aquariums quickly. Uh, what else do I have to say about them? Yes, so uh, aquariums can only be uh, created and entered uh, by members of the stoners uh, group. So if I type in ID here, you can see that uh, Obiwak is part of the Stones group. Uh, if I log in as a different user, which is not part of the Stones group, as you can see here, uh, and I go back to here and I type in Aquarium E Ubuntu, uh, as you can see, it does give us an error saying that we're not part of, uh, of the Stones group. Right. Um, that's for now really all there is to see uh, about aquariums. Um, What's next? Yeah, there's one last thing, uh, probably the most <laughs> inconsequential feature uh, um, I have to show off, but uh, blurring behind windows now uh, is gamma corrected, or at least it uses an approximation uh, for the shaders to run a bit faster. So basically all that means is that if I have this image here and I blurred it like this, uh, previously uh, the transition between green and red was this ugly kind of brownish color. Now it's yellow, it's correct, uh, or it's an approximation, but it looks correct enough, so it's fine. Uh, really, this affects nothing, <laughs> but it, it's cool. Uh, it's it's correct now, so. Yep, I mean, I guess that's, uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, bye.